Every race is a new, a new adventure, a new, a new mission. When I go racing, I always try not to think about the competition. You should always um, clear things with yourself first, and then you can race to others. Yes, you can. No. Yes, no. <laughs> Riders feel when they are in this movie, when they put everything out and they are just flying down the track. When you get into that zone and when you start to feel the terrain, that's where the good things happen. El enduro en los últimos años ha ido evolucionando mucho y ello conlleva a un cambio total en, en todo lo que los rodea, desde el diseño de las bicicletas, los entrenos de los deportistas, los componentes que nos suministran los fabricantes. For the new uh, Rallon R6, Orbe asked me to test, so we uh, we did shuttle and then we test on the same trail with different kind of uh, parts and uh, and frame and to see the difference in between. We spend a lot of hours, so we know what's good and what's not, like um, stiffness, rigidity. You can feel, I think, different stuff than the, than the engineer. The keys and the goal to, the, to Orbea, I think, was to build the fastest bike of the of the range because everything we ask has a racer it's on the bike uh, stability also it's better so yeah can't wait <laughs> nice you like the new bike it's been sweet yeah you get sweet. on with it good yeah mm -hmm. yeah i like it yeah you on the large or extra large? large yeah yeah Everything felt better, just a little bit more balanced and more confidence inspiring and suspension was a little more lively. So this week's going to be the, the, the first time we race on it. So yeah, I'm really happy and, uh, and uh, really looking forward to, uh, to get some uh, chrono times. Sunny 20 minutes ago and the dumb young Canadian didn't bring a rain jacket, so into the trash can we go. Lo que hace para mí el enduro tan especial es la improvisación. Entras en una curva que en seco has entrado súper rápido y en mojado pues le han aparecido 15 raíces en medio de la curva y en milésimas de segundo tienes que reaccionar e improvisar. You need to be good at reading the terrain, you need to be good at um, adjusting your bike to the new stuff, um, about uh, figuring out the game plan for the whole day. In Enduro you have to be super polyvalent, each race are totally different. I see a lot of people get too caught up in it and worry about too many things. Uh, 
I think you just gotta remember that you're there having fun, so don't lose the fun because you're too caught up in being serious, you know? Yeah, have a good time and the rest will come. All right, enjoy. <laughs> oh, beautiful! Uh, fit some nine person here inside and 11 bikes. I don't think so. Europeans are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you will see now how to load the van. Mm -hmm. you, come, uh, you come to Canada, I'll show you how to use a pickup truck. <laughs> Hey, let's see, let's see what life was for us. So maybe it's gonna be nice, maybe not, we don't know. That's what all matters in life. Everything is unpredictable. This is like you were busy for your full sand movie. This is like Christmas. This is a date to be focused on fast. Yeah, it's the New Rallon release. So, there it is. Gonna show you how the ship does feel. Everybody looking at me. The team has evolved in the last few years quite a lot. I remember back in 2016, there were very few players uh, competing at the EWS. Uh, these days, that has changed a lot. It's always pretty funny uh, passing by the the team at the paddock. Um, yeah, like so many jokes uh, constantly. Abajo. It's the mejor, the mejor. Linea. Linea. Abajo. Oh, and the medio, in medio. Medio. Medio, medio. Arriba, Nicola. In medio, it's the mejor. Medio. This sport is collective sport for the team, but after it's individual sport when you race because you're alone on your bike with yourself. Maybe many persons think that being an athlete is super easy, everything is arranged, they just go on the start and they race and they have fun, no? But behind it's uh, much, much more. We put so much work um, like over the years into this to make it happen, to get the good results, to get to the team, to whatever. They had to deliver in one weekend. The pressure on the results, the pressure of representing the team, the sponsors, yeah, the risk in an injury. Every time you line up on the start line, it, it is kind of a pressure to, to go fast down the track. But then again, I think if you can put this on the sideline a little bit, and you can just start to to enjoy the ride, that's where the good things happen.
motorbikes. de la de la I Enduro World Series tenemos todo papi ahora te veo vale anda chaval ahora pepino tío con GPS y todo Now it looks super easy, look. I like it. <laughs> e bike race are hard. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Eh, una modalidad más. Pero es un buen futuro, ¿sabes? A mí me está dando la vida en mis entrenos, en mi disfrute, en las carreras. Y han sido todas carreras en las que he montado en bici el triple que en una carrera normal. You have to, to be focused during 12 stages. A lot of stages. La Power Stage es una especial que todos en su vida. Y bueno, es muy diferente a todo lo demás. Se basa más en la tracción, Hacer como un poco ayudar a la bici a subir los obstáculos. Was it a long day? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, 74 kilometers and more than. 3,000 meter positive. I just need to sleep now. <laughs> I had a big one on the pro stage, like a big crash. I didn't expect to be lining up for the race, if you know. I took a step back and I see how much effort goes to get back to that level, you know. When I was riding, um, I don't know, in the practice in Finale, I saw, you know, like, it's not uh, quite the same as it was before. Because once, once you feel like fully committed, like fully, fully ready, that's where you don't think about how you ride, you only think about just go fast, you know. But this time I was like thinking, wow, don't hit any stuff. And because if I open up the stitches again or if I get infected again, it'll be pretty much end of the season for me. It's good, like as long as it's flow and stuff. Yeah, I'm just struggling when I get to the big hits. Tight and loose, so yeah, it should be good. Está guapísimo. Esto sí que mola, tío. Seco y rocas y polvo. Para mí, para ser un buen piloto en duro, creo que hay tres factores que son del piloto: serían el físico, la mente y la técnica. Y entre todos ellos, pues hay que encontrar un balance, ¿no? For me, the calmness was the best approach for racing. You know, to keep it calm, to be confident, to trust the the work I did, and yeah, I'm just being able to focus and uh, to keep this focus over all the trails, and that's what gets you down fast, I think. I always think before the start, like uh, on the on the liaison first. I try to remember which part is dangerous, which which part uh, I have to win times. 
but um, then when I am at the start, I don't think about nothing. I'm just ready. I'm like try to breathe a lot. And then, yeah, when you leave, uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah, you have to try it. <laughs> deporte visto desde fuera la verdad que puede parecer un, un poco loco y, y el descontrol y tal pero al final hay un trabajo de, de años y, y de, hay mucha constancia detrás que es lo que tenemos que utilizar usando mucho la cabeza para, para al final lograr una, una buena carrera en general y, y es cuando cuando salen los buenos resultados y es cuando llega el momento de locura ver la bajada desde fuera y disfrutar del resultado But you have already run uh, with the with the bike Thursday. Yeah. A little bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Nice. A lot of a lot of riding. Vamos para abajo, chavales. Ready. Copy. La playa queda para abajo, ¿eh? Eso se dice en Tenerife. Tira para la playa. sick like I love the stage really like technical old school old school finale I think the beauty with everything changing is it's hard to get bored because something new every week you know being adaptive is pretty important in this sport especially now with having so many races in different places so tight together like we're on fourth race in three weeks right now all in different countries so uh, just hopping into a different climate figuring out how you want to change your bike how you need to ride differently and then hopping into it and trying to be at your top level is important. Three sports plans. Oh, I just woke up here. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Scotland. It's pretty much raining like every day. I'm getting ready for support the e-bikers and yeah, I'm going to check the pro stage walking. About it. Look at the Scottish weather. 8 degrees rain it might gonna get start snowing yeah Laura getting ready yeah it is ready it is ready e it is ready <laughs> guys close the lights we go I've got a job in the valley but today I did it go I cut the flag for Damien today because it's the last race for him. We'll be riding for our granddad today, Damien. His last race, so that's for his hometown. For me, it's special, special race this one because it's my, uh, it's my last one, very last one. Go for 
para mí, para mí es como un viejo zorro, ¿no? Porque <ríe> tiene toda la experiencia y sabiduría que, que se necesita para correr. Que lo ves que es un tío que ha sido tres veces subcampeón del mundo y es un tío de lo más normal y, y tranquilo que te puedes imaginar. Super humble, super open to share the experience. He gave us a good perspective on life as well because you can see like how is he dealing everything, family and uh, racing. All the best to his future life and yeah, hopefully I can be one day like him. <laughs> I think it's, it's the right time to do it now and I'm really happy and like super glad that it's my, my home decision, you know. It's been great. It's been uh, nine amazing years, amazing uh, travel, amazing race. You started on a steel bike. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> a long time ago, so... <laughs> Yeah, it's been amazing and uh, that's my last one and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. And we're going to enjoy it with you, ladies and gentlemen. Can we have a big round of applause for legendary Tommy Auto? There's a wind and it's blowing. There's a current that's running deep I can't see but I know it That something's not what it's meant to be Hearing brother against brother now Anger grows on divided ground Sometimes I think that I lost the sound Of the calm inside of me I wanna see love make a comeback I wanna feel hope Till kindness wins again I need to know peace is not defeated I need to know hate won't bring us freedom It doesn't matter where you've been We'll see kindness win If I was falling, if I was down, would you even see? I'm so tired of calling. Sick. What is it? Top 15? Yeah. Oh, guys, man. That's sick. I'm happy with that. Good way to end the season. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, boy. Nice season, bro. Mike Drop Sports fans. Damien is driving, Damien is pretty damn fast driver and you're never sure if you're gonna make it to, to the finish line so cross your fingers, let me know what you think about fast driving Hey, can you shut up? <laughs>